Example number 2. Integrate x squared times e to the x dx. Solution. Integral of x squared times e to the x dx. Let's track technique number 1 first by using integral formula. The formula is integral of u dv equals to u times v minus integral of v du x squared is our first function and e to the x is our second function. To integrate the given equation by using integral formula we have now x squared times e to the x minus integral of e to the x times 2x dx. Our x squared is u and our dv is e to the x. Put x squared as it is times integral of second term. Integral of e to the x is e to the x minus integral of second term which is e to the x times derivative of first term. Now derivative of first term which is x squared is 2x. How we got the value for v and du? Let's prove it mathematically in extra calculation. Take u equals to x squared Take derivative on both sides. We have du or dx equals to 2x. Move dx to the right side. And we have now du equals to 2x dx. That's how we got du equals to 2x dx. Take the second term du equals to e to the x dx. Bring this dx to the left side. We have now dv or dx equals to e to the x. Take integration on both sides. This integral sign will cancel with the derivative sign and we're left with v equals to e to the x. That's how we got v equals to e to the x. Moving ahead, we have no x squared times e to the x minus 2 times integral of x times e to the x dx. Pull these two out of the integration. Now look at here, we still have the product of two terms, x times e to the x. We need to use again the integral formula. Just use integral formula here. x is our u, e to the x is dv. Leave x as it is, times integral of second term which is e to the x minus integral of second term times derivative of first term. Our first term is x here, so the derivative of x is dx. Again, let me do mathematical work to prove that how we got u equals to e to the x and du equals to dx. Take the first term u equals to x. Take derivative on both sides. We have now du our dx equals to 1. Move this dx to the right side. du equals to dx, that's how we got du equals to dx. Take the second term du equals to e to the x dx. Bring this dx to the left side. We have now dv or dx equals to e to the x. Take integration on both sides. This integral sign will cancel with the derivative symbol because they are opposite. Integration of e to the x is e to the x. We have now v equals to e to the x. That's how we got v equals to e to the x. You skip this extra calculation. It's not compulsory. And it will left only with a single term e to the x. So integral of e to the x is e to the x. Plus arbitrary constant. Solve it further. And our final answer is x squared times e to the x minus 2x times e to the x plus 2 times e to the x plus c. This is the final answer for the given equation by using technique number 1. Can we use technique number 2 here? Yes, we can use because we have x squared and it's a pure algebraic term. Just use technique number 2 here. In technique number 2, Leave the x squared as it is, and integral of second term e to the x is e to the x minus derivative of x squared is 2x 
times the integral of e to the x is e to the x plus derivative of 2x is 2 and integral of e to the x is e to the x minus derivative of 2 is 0 and times integral of e to the x is e to the x we stop it here because we got 0 for the derivative term so the moment when you get 0 you have to stop it plus arbitrary constant so we have now x squared times e to the x minus 2x times e to the x plus 2 e to the x plus c this is our final answer for the given equation by using technique number 2 let me explain it again if we have at least one algebraic term my suggestion is to use technique number 2 it is easy straightforward and simple and take less time to get your answer especially when you have higher power for the algebraic term like we have here x square and therefore in technique number one we used the integral formula two times and if you have x to the three you're gonna use it three times if you have x to the four you're gonna use it four times so it becomes lengthy and take more time to get your answer but when you use technique number two here it's very easy to solve your equation and will take very less time to get your answer but make sure you must have at least one algebraic term in your equation and then use technique number two